Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Sobriety University. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. So I've been making videos on this channel for about, I don't know, three, three and a half years now, almost four years. And I've realized that I haven't talked too much about like me as a person. I, I always talk about like quitting weed, obviously, and you know, what you can expect from it. But I'm realizing through another channel we've created and I'm getting some consulting on that I need to show a little bit more about like who I am, my life, just that I'm a normal person, that I don't just live for quitting weed. <laughs> um, in fact, I think it's quite boring. And uh, what I recommend people that I uh, consult is that like you just want to quit weed so you never have to think about it again. So I believe in making this video, you guys are gonna get a better sense that like I'm an actual person. I'm not just like a robot that talks about weed all the time. I really don't talk about it besides when I shoot a video. Uh, it's really not interesting to most people <laughs> that aren't in this space. And so I don't talk about it with my friends. It's not like something I'm, uh, I bring up r really when I'm like uh, out doing social things unless they ask. So yeah, who am I? Uh, my name is Joel. <laughs> I'm from Korea. I was adopted from Korea when I was a little baby and I came over to the United States. Uh, I grew up in a very small town, 10,000 people. It's like a town where most people know each other. And, you know, I think looking back, that definitely contributed to some of the reasons I did decide to smoke, uh, and also kind of maybe shaped my perspective on a world, on the world that wasn't the best. And I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit here. So yeah, grew up, had a pretty basic childhood, like, um, like video games and stuff, and, uh, played with friends, played with toys, etc. And then once I started getting to high school, I developed more of a social network and started, learned how to kind of have friends and stuff like that, like on a bigger scale. And as well, that probably contributed to my weed use. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I went to college and stuff, dropped out of course, cause I was smoking weed. And basically uh, now I'm living like an entrepreneurial lifestyle. I do consulting for a couple different avenues, this, this the addiction stuff and then for dating. So we do dating coaching uh, where I live here in Mexico City. And it's really a dream come true, I'll, I'll be honest. Like I really get paid to give. <laughs> and um, and yeah, I'm, pr I'm a pretty like basic dude. Like I love hanging out with friends. I like food, I go work out a lot. I exercise uh, a ton. I'm a very skinny guy, so I don't look as like, you know, for as much as I work out, I should be huge, but I just uh, don't have the genetics for it. So if I do put on weight, I have to really work hard at it and like eat it, eat like all day long. So it's pretty exhausting. So uh, I'm not quite ready to do another one of those yet, but I might this fall. And uh, yeah, life's pretty chill. Like you know, I don't smoke anymore, obviously. I don't drink. I still go out with friends who, who are able to drink and smoke. And it's not something that bothers me because I'm just so far removed from that, that it's just of no interest to me. And I know for me personally, like if I were to start doing that stuff again, my life very well could go down the shitter quickly. Like how it was back in 2014 to 2016 when I was really smoking heavily. Like it's hard not to talk about weed because this is mostly a weed channel, but <laughs> I've had addictions to all kinds of things. Uh, alcohol, uh, pornography as I've talked about on this channel, uh, food, you know, television, pretty much anything that gives me pleasure. Uh, I have a tendency to seek out making money even that's something I'm working on now and is kind of just like I don't know the way I was uh, you know I think from a lot of childhood trauma I, I experienced a lot of pain when I was little and so there's still a part of me that really wants to that doesn't believe I deserve any more pain in this life <laughs> and uh, yeah I empathize with that because um, I did experience a lot of unfair and unjust pain when I was a child uh, and I, you know, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing like, okay, pain is a part of life. Like I'm gonna experience painful moments, but uh, I don't need to let it define me or whatever. And really, I'm just like most of you guys, but I just wanna be happy. I just wanna enjoy life and, you know, live life to its fullest, have no regrets. And that's really kind of why I personally, I'm really big into like the self-development, like working on myself, uh, becoming the best version of myself, as they say. And it's really kind of just my lifestyle now. It's it's something that took work to kind of start to learn, but once I started to see results from it and realize that like, okay, like if, if I just like, you know, stop wasting time doing stupid things <laughs> throughout the day, I can actually get a lot done and move forward at a tremendous rate that, you know, maybe I didn't see before when I was younger. 
So uh, it really has only taken a couple of years to start making money online and being able to work for myself. I don't have a boss. I don't have any uh, thing to report to. I'm usually laying in that bed doing my work without any clothes on. So it's super chill and uh, kind of really cool to be able to help others experience a lot of the joys that I got to experience. Um, quitting weed, you know, I'll be honest guys, like it, it ain't fun. It's not like a, it's not something you want to like look back on really. <laughs> like I just remember it sucked and I'm just happy that I'm out of it. Um, but the dating coaching, that's something I'm really passionate about. And it's just been a tremendous experience to get to connect with guys all over the world and help them develop a really cool love life. So that's really where my head and focus is at right now. Uh, you know, if you guys are watching this and you're at a place where you want to start dating and improving your dating life, uh, definitely reach out to me. We have a lot of different packages and uh, ways that we can you know, help work around like where you are financially and all that stuff. Um, really, again, like I say with the sobriety consulting, it only takes a couple months, two, three months to really get into a stride and uh, start to be able to develop that dating life through online dating and then through in-person cold approaching, which is my expertise. You've seen Jerem on this channel, Jerem, he's my business partner and, and he teaches the online side of things. So, so together we teach guys how to develop a really strong uh, just dating presence and kind of marketing funnel so that you can start to get out there, build the leads you want, uh, attract the ideal avatar in terms of like the woman you want to date uh, or vice versa. If you're a woman and you want to attract a certain kind of man, the behaviors you have to do to attract that kind of person and then really just getting the experience. Um, it's kind of like anything in life, you, you got to put in the reps, you got to put in the, the practice. Um, a lot of people are resistant to that idea. And uh, I would just say, look at it like, you know, when you play video games, you got to play video games for hours to get good at the video game. Think about it just like that. Like you got to go talk to a lot of different women or, or do a lot of swiping on the dating apps and have a lot of dates. And, you know, it's, a, it's an amazing process because you, I mean, you get to date. It's not like you have to like withdraw from weed or anything like that. It's an area that we see a lot of guys suffer in and a lot of, you know, a lot of pain in this world is around relationships. I didn't have relationships for most of my life because I was too into my addictions and I didn't know who I was and it was a very painful experience. Just years I would just lay in bed just fantasizing about what it would be like to have a, a girlfriend or something like that. And uh, to be able to be here today and have that um, in abundance and then be able to teach other guys how to do that as well. It's, it's super rewarding. So, uh, there will be, a, I'll put a link down in the description of our second YouTube channel that is a dating focused channel. It's called Mexpat Dating. And there you can kind of get an idea of what we talk about and what we teach. And then, uh, if you do want to potentially work with us, you can schedule a consult and we'll kind of go through a game plan with you and see how we can help you. Same goes for the weed stuff. Uh, you've heard it on the channel before. I do help people quit weed. Uh, again, not the funnest thing, but it's necessary and a lot of people just need to kind of, you know, suck it up for a month or two and kind of just grind through it and then they really never think about it again. That's what it was like for me. Like when I quit weed, it was pretty chill. Um, it took a couple months of just like weeding off and then I was able to quit cold turkey and I never looked back really. It was just like, I was like, thank God that's over. <laughs> it's time to move on and pursue other avenues in my life. And, uh, you know, uh, dating was a huge part of it. I didn't get to date until about six years into my recovery because uh, I still had a lot of issues to work on, but you know, it did come full circle and now I'm here today. So, you know, I, I'll just say wherever you guys are in your life and in your journey, know that there's someone that is further behind than you and someone that's further ahead. And what I always recommend is go and meet and be friends with and, you know, <laughs> Be kind to and try to you know learn as much as you can from the people that are ahead because they'll be able to help you save a lot of time and skip the line uh, in things that you know maybe other people had to go through kind of on their own. I quit weed on my own. <laughs> I didn't have like a coach or a mentor or anything. I, it, I was pretty alone in the process and it was quite lonely to be honest. Now I get a coach for everything including dating. I had a dating coach when I first started and that I had a mentor who was like really helped me kind of step into my own and make big decisions in my life. And um, without those people, I would have just, uh, there's no way I'd be where I am today because there's just too much to figure out and not enough time really. So 
Well, there's enough time, but again, yeah, hiring a consultant, hiring someone that can help you is a really good investment, I believe, and it's something I still, again, do today. And we have a guy helping us on our YouTube channel, and he's really helping us take it to the next level and inspire me to make this video where I'm just kind of talking candidly instead of, you know, a specific, like, how to quit weed video, which I'm sure can get kind of boring, and it's boring for me at this point, honestly. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think I'll probably do more of these videos where I just kind of talk and shoot the shit about whatever's on my mind. I just got over a cold. Uh, I got the, a bit of a flu and stuff. So again, I'm human. I get sick. It sucked. It sucked ass. <laughs> uh, I had the chills, the body aches, and it was no fun. But you know, like you know, like I said earlier in the video, like pain's a part of life. And having gone through that little week of not feeling good, I feel really good today. Like. Not super good because I didn't get a lot of sleep and my nose is stuffy, but I feel better than I did before. And I know that every time I do get sick, I appreciate life a little better. So you can kind of look at life like that too. Like, you know, you go through trials and hardships and then you come out the other side and you just have a new found appreciation for life and for who you are as a person, how you, you know, overcame and persevered through that challenge and how you're a better, wiser person today. So anyone you meet that has wisdom or that you look up to, they all had to go through the ringer in some sort. They all did walk through the shit. If you remember Shawshank Redemption, a guy I'm uh, consulting right now for to quit weed, he brought up that analogy, like you gotta trudge through the shit for you know a few minutes and then you come out the other side. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys are trudging through the, through the shit right now and you know just keep one step in front of the other. Consider some outside help, again, speed along the process. I believe anybody can quit weed and can find the relationships they want and stuff. It just takes a little work and uh, really at the end of the day, it's like how fast you want it. Are you willing to get out of your own way and humble yourself and, you know, ask for help, whether it's for, not for me, like it doesn't have to be for me, but just from like another source or something like that. Just like um, you do got to humble yourself, right, to make progress and gains in your life. So on that note, guys, I think we'll call it a wrap for today. Uh, subscribe, like if you haven't. Uh, we'll be definitely looking forward to more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.